Today we're going to make ginger beer without the use of a ginger bug. Now, if you've got 30 minutes to spare to watch a 30 minute video for 5 minutes worth of information, well then, this isn't the video for you. You need to go find a different video to watch. We're going to show you how to do it cheap and dirty like we do it here at the homestead. So, without further ado, let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to start with about a third of a gallon of water in a pot. Go ahead and put that on the stove and get that thing heating up. The next thing we're going to do is grind up some fresh ginger. You can see about how much I used right here. We're also going to need a lime. You're going to cut this in half and juice it. We're going to need some sugar. I'm going to use approximately four and a third cup maybe. All of it's going to end up in this pot right here. I'm going to be using this Lablin EC 1118 yeast because that's what I have on hand. The ginger, the cut up and juice lime, and the four and a third cups of sugar all go in the pot. We go ahead and get that heated up to a rolling boil. Through the magic of video, you can see here that it's boiling nicely. Once we get it to this point, we want to go ahead and turn the heat off. We now set this to the side and allow this little tea that we've created to steep for about an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and go get a workout in and then come back and we'll continue this project. Now we're going to go ahead and strain it into our brewing bucket. And yes, in case you're wondering, everything has been sanitized. So here we go. Very simple. Go ahead and just strain it all into your brewing vessel of choice. Now this is still going to be hot, so just keep that in mind if you're using glass or something like that. I know it's been sitting for an hour, but it's still going to be a little bit hot. And we need to do something to reduce that temperature before we go ahead and pitch our yeast. So let's get this all strained out and keep on moving. At this point, we go ahead and add our other two-thirds of a gallon of water to our mixture here. And that'll help cool everything down nicely. Our temperature has dropped far enough so as not to kill our yeast when we go ahead and pitch it. So we're good to go. Our yeast has been hydrating nicely in our official yeast hydrating container here. So let's go ahead and pitch that. Because I have it on hand, I'm going to be using one teaspoon of yeast nutrient. Go ahead and add that. Isn't 100% necessary. Again, like I said, I had it on hand, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. Time to cap this thing. Go ahead and put the lid on it. Give it some shakes to make sure everything's mixed up. Put your airlock in the top of it and forget about it for a couple weeks. Now, after primary fermentation is done, I probably will rack this two or three times and then maybe back sweeten it right before bottling, pasteurize those bottles, halt the carbonation, then just chill it and enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, I'd certainly appreciate a thumbs up like. Hopefully you learned something here today. Hopefully I didn't waste too much of your time and you'll be able to go ahead and make your own ginger beer brew in your own home, nice and cheap. Hey, maybe I'll see you on the next video.